Come into this circle of care. Come into this time of love and grief. Come into this community of compassion. If this is your first Light Up a Life ceremony, welcome. May it help you on your healing journey. If this is your second or your fourth or your 10th, welcome. May it help you honor your memories. In my family, we are grieving the loss of our favorite uncle, Uncle Bill, who died last month. And we also feel the fresh round of grief it brings back for those who've gone before him. It is good that we have come together this evening, united before the mystery of death as humans have done throughout time and across religions and cultures. Together, we name our loss, we feel our sadness, and we lean into the support of those around us, those who understand in some small way the depths of our grief. I light this candle which we use at each hospice of Santa Barbara staff meeting when we acknowledge the deaths of those we serve. With this ritual, I draw each and every one of you into the care of our community. From Carpinteria to Montecito to Santa Barbara to Goleta, all, all are held in our circle of compassion. If your grief is new or is feeling raw and overwhelming, I'm glad you are here. Know that your intense feelings are safe among us. I am here, all of us at Hospice of Santa Barbara are here to walk alongside you for as long as it takes. You are not alone. None of us are alone this evening with our grief and our remembrance. I bring you these words from Barbara Peskin. Often, we are found in our grief and comforted, calmed by some kindness, brought alive again by beauty that catches us undefended. Even when the sun is most thin and far, even when the storm of our despair is at its height, we can get through. We are held in an embrace, invisible but infinite. Small joys and great sorrows pass, and we, with steps uncertain, Move with all creation toward wholeness, for we are continually seen, heard, held by life, by love. And part of what brings us here this evening is love. That may sound surprising, yet the truth is we feel this bereft sadness this loss precisely because we have loved so deeply. This is true for each of us here tonight and for everyone in the human family who cares for another. It may not make our own grief easier, yet there can be a comfort in knowing that this burden of loss is shared. It can also be a comfort to remind ourselves that even in the midst of our despair, we are held in love. It is always there, a thread we hold on to in the darkness. This love weaves us together with family and friends and slowly, slowly leads us back to the land of the living. As Rebecca Parker writes, there is a universal love that has never broken faith with us and never will. 
So may that be a comfort. Take it in. Rest in that love. It is good to find ways to rest. For the way of grief is long, longer than we want it to be, and full of messy and unpredictable feelings. It is not easy. And it's been made harder by the COVID pandemic. For we're tired, aren't we? Weary beyond words from these nearly two years of loss and uncertainty. And each time we think we're through, another variant arises. This exhaustion, it makes carrying the weight of our grief even harder. So I invite us to rest. Rest for this moment tonight. This can be part of what December brings with its short days and long nights. And we hold this Light Up a Life ceremony each year in December in acknowledgement that grief is made harder in the dark and harder during the holiday season. So let us not try to force ourselves into festivity if that's not where we are. Let us rather find ways to pause as all of nature does in December. Seeds are resting in the earth, the trees release their leaves and are resting in their roots. So let us take a breath and rest in the care of this gathered community. And with the pause, we might allow ourselves to be enlivened by some beauty, like the songs that John sang, like the beautiful tree, the laughter of a child, the softness of your pet's fur. Let these and other small bits of beauty in, allow them to bring a bit of comfort. Small things do help, for they remind us that the darkness changes. It lightens bit by bit and day by day. That is the message of hope the winter holidays can bring to us. So many religious traditions have celebrations in the darkest time of the year. And those celebrations center on light. Hanukkah, winter solstice, Christmas, Kwanzaa, all have rituals with candles. All acknowledge the power of light to ease our darkness and to return us to hope. This message is for all of us, whether we are religious or not. All it takes is one small candle to shift the darkness. There's power in the light to fill our weary hearts over and over again. There's power in the light slowly lengthening each day. So my friends, please take in the beauty and let in the light. And if that feels hard or nearly impossible, because right now loss has broken your heart, or there are cracks in your spirit that may never mend, I say to you these words of Leonard Cohen, there is a crack, a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. And so in a few minutes, we will light our tree, symbolically lighting the lives of all of those beloveds we are here to honor. Let that light in. Invite in the light of those dear ones, the light of their laughter, the light of their quirks and special qualities, the light of their wisdom and all they taught you, the light of the joy of having known them in your life, the light of their love. Let in the light and the love. It has never broken faith with us and it never will. May it be so.